So we're now on the we're now in Antarctica, okay? We're now on the road, so to speak. What is how is your skin, your your grafted, fragile skin gonna cope with the conditions of the South Pole? This is why Greg's coming, I don't know. Yeah, you, you're this way <laughs> Mr. Surgeon himself. Um I, we don't know exactly. Okay. We can or I can put my best guess. There's a divided field, some surgeons and medical professionals, because this has never been done before. Right. They, they don't know how my skin will react, and a lot of them think negatively. Mm -hmm. And there's another trail of surgeons who think, like Greg, for instance, that it should be okay. And, mm. I, and I think it will be okay as well. Mm. But the problem that my skin has is it doesn't have the same moisture control that, that, that yours does you know right. my skin is naturally dry in, in all environments mm -hmm. and when the weather changes even here it, it gets really dry mm -hmm. antarctica of course is the driest continent yep. in the world it's what a lot of people don't understand yep. so when you see pictures of explorers from any time you see the lips are chapped and you see the, the scarring because the skin there's no moisture mm -hmm. that will happen to me very quickly right so i will have openings on my legs okay the skin will open up. Now it's how we we manage that in order to keep going, and how Greg manages that might be a nice way to say in order to, to to keep going that we can we can minimise the the amount of pain or or maybe prevention. Maybe we can find a way to try and prevent it happening. But that's and also your your heat management system because because it's broken. It, yeah, it's. I mean, a lot of people think oh the cold, but. A, you don't feel the cold, and B, you can't sweat, to, 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 or can't sweat. The scarring properly. doesn't sweat. Yeah, so right. it's the. I'm Scottish, so <laughs> I'm naturally amazing in the cold. Good. Oh, this is good. <laughs> now I've I've always been okay in the cold. Always, it, it, I begin endure cold very easily, and yeah. um, before the fire. What's happened now is because of the amount of scarring and essentially nerve damage in my legs probably I, I can't feel the cold in my legs I can't right. feel water either okay. it's kind of fun to stand in water knee deep and have no idea you're there it's a bit weird um, and for the uneducated people who think going to Antarctica without feeling cold that's amazing oh wow mm. that, how easy will that be so dangerous yeah. because you can't feel when you're Frostbite. in trouble yeah you don't know when the, when the trouble will come so that has to be managed um we're not sure that there was a train of thought of maybe putting some heat sensors, thermometers on the skin right. that we can monitor all the way. It's extra things to go wrong. That and I don't, I don't like the idea of becoming a walking <laughs> thermometer and you know the, the, the hardness, the, the physical hardness is part of the thing that I'm looking forward to as well. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't want to be safe. I'm saying you know, I, it's so easy to become one step away from. Do you know what? Everybody will walk and we're going to put Rob in a car with heating just to make... You, you know what I mean? It's yeah. we, we can't go too far, but the, okay. the skin itself, it, it will break down. It will have a problem. It will be more susceptible to frost nip. Um, and as you mentioned, the sweating, my scars can't sweat. Hmm. So what happens then is my good skin, which is basically my face mm -hmm. and the tops of my shoulders, that's all the, the good skin I have left. Mm -hmm. It overcompensates for all the, the lack of sweating or sweats the extreme version of, of your body cooling down, of course. Yeah. Uh, and my face will sweat quicker because naturally where you would admit not even sweat, but a little bit of vapour through your scars, mine can. Right. Sweat in Antarctica is the worst thing that could happen because the sweat will freeze right. almost instantly. Okay. And then you will get cold injury within your clothing system. Mm. Because it, so it, that, that's, it's a worry. My biggest worry is my, my sweating, okay. personally. It would be a bit rubbish to go through all this fire and rebuilding and walking and to go to Antarctica and lose my nose or something because I sweat. <laughs> it would be, you know, it's an extreme. I won't lose my nose, hopefully. But I, I fear, mm. that's my fear. Okay. But it could be managed and we will manage it. Again, what Greg's for. Good. <laughs> Poor Greg's got a big list. <laughs>